According to Realtree.com, we are number eight for most entries of big bucks since 2010, and that's on the Boone and Crockett uh, records. We are fourth of all time. Uh, Minnesota isn't producing big bucks like it used to. I have been hunting since I was two years old, and I've shot a handful of bucks of all different sizes. Uh, and this affects all of us because hunting is a huge part of our economy, and the antler point restriction will only better our economy and our environment for um, hunting. My, uh, the antler point restriction is needed to turn Minnesota into a big buck state. The three points I'm going over is how the antler point restriction will affect the environment, how the antler point restriction will help turn Minnesota into a big buck state, and how the antler point restriction will affect Minnesota's economy. Real quick, uh, for those that do not know, the antler point restriction is, is a regulation imposed on hunters to shoot bucks with four or more antler points on one side. So, my first point is the antler point restriction will better our environment. One way it will do this is a larger population bucks in particular. Uh, it'll make for seeing more bucks year long, so that makes it easier for um, scouting purposes and being able to figure out where you want to hunt to make your hunts more successful. And this will also make bucks more territorial because there's more bucks in one particular area. Therefore, when you're hunting, um, calling and things like that is more successful. So you don't, for those that are, aren't very patient, it doesn't take as long when you're out there, hopefully. Uh, also, it will help improve things such as um, Shed hunting, being that there'll be more big bucks, uh, they shed their antlers every winter, and a lot of people, it's a huge hobby to go out and look for uh, their sheddings, and it can help you figure out how big of bucks you have in the area. Uh, on to my next point. What makes a state a big buck state? One thing is having multiple bucks within a certain area. This goes back to my territorial thing. Um, according to the College of Environmental Science and Forestry that's out of um, New York, uh, bucks during the rut live in about 853 acres. This is around 1.3 uh, square miles. And this is why if you have more bucks in an area, it will lead to um, more deer to be territorial and want to like fight and come to your calls. And according to Tom Venensky, reported for timesleader.com, in uh, Pennsylvania, a score up for a buck must be 115 on the Boone and Crockett score. And that's roughly about the size of that buck that came off my trail cam this last year. Um, and before they had the antler point restriction in place in 2002, 2003, they had roughly about 50 bucks a year coming in to sizes smaller than that. And uh, within the few years after they got the antler point restriction, that went up to about 100. So they had two times the amount of bucks being put in in the 115 class and higher. And also, Tom Vodensky reports an average seeing about 100 to 110 every year, or, or bucks, and now he sees roughly the 125, 135, this is a 135 class buck. And as you can see, antler just overall antler size is much bigger there. On to my last point, how the antler point restriction will affect the economy. The antler, having big bucks and making it a big buck state will bring in out-of-state hunters. This leads to um, more income because a out-of-state tag costs $165 per person. That's five and a half times more than that of the um, res, out of us resident hunters. And this can go to things such as finding invasive species like purple loose stripe, zebra mussels, and the emerald ash borer. Uh, also, it affects our small economy because, like I said before, having more antlers, antler decor for anybody that doesn't hunt, still a lot of people like antler decor and the price will go down for locally made stuff. And also meat in the freezer, a buck can be two times that of a yearling buck and that extra meat for people that think that they won't get any more meat will then go down because you're basically doubling it by seeing more deer. And that comes in with the population. Having a large population of bucks will lead to that. So, 
in conclusion, uh, the antler point restriction is needed to turn Minnesota into a big buck state. It will better our economy, better our hunting environment, and make us a true big buck state. With a stronger understanding of what the antler point restriction is and can do for Minnesota, hopefully we can make trophy bucks more of a norm rather than a dream.